Hi folks, today I bring another panel to our list. This is the front panel of a Philips MCD289, fortunately the user and the service manual are available on the web. At Schematic the driver for the VFD is one Micro PD16311, which is the same as the PT6311 present on the panel. So, we won't spend time with it as it has already been covered in the several past videos. Let us just remember that in order to communicate with the 6311 on this panel, we just need to intercept the pins 6, 8 and 9 and connect to the Arduino platform or other. Don't forget to establish the GND reference of our panel with the GND of the platform used. Otherwise, the logic pins will be floating, block, blocking the correct communication. Returning to the panel itself, it makes use of the DC-DC converters for the filaments voltage and to the VE voltage which in this case is marked in schematic as being less 20, 28 volts, pin 34 of the 6311. The independence of the power supply, which I remember to you is a characteristic of some Philips panels, means that to bring this panel to life again, we only have to supply it with a plus 5 volts DC, at connector CN301. They marked 6 volts DC, but uh, I only see plus 5 volts DC on the output of the power source block. I asking you to pay attention to the R of 100 ohms marked as R312, which together with the uh, C 325 of the 100 microfarads approach the value of the VCC uh, used by the 6211. As I said, providing the plus 5 volts we have live on the panel and its control is based on the use of one infrared remote control. Its use being mandatory to be able to set the clock a clock uh, that is not present in the standby normal mode. To make it permanent visible, we must press the EC button next, next of the standby LED for m more th of the 3 seconds. And in this case, uh, the, the, the clock will be um, in blink mo blinking mode because the time is not set. The input uh, audio selection mode function works by going through the CD, uh, tuner, aux and the USB. We also have the volume adjustment and we can have an enter the tuner's automatic tuning mode which that we can use uh, simply by adding um, uh, IC reference TEA5760 UK. If uh, we press the play and the stop at the same time and power up the system we get access to the, the, the version present in the, the, the CPU, ok? To return a normal mode is necessary um, remove the power again and make a reset of the energy, ok? This is standby LED, and this standby LED uh, disappears 
when we set the presence of the clock information on the VFD instead of have the standby indicator the clock will be present in the, the display in this case it's blinking because uh, we don't uh, have a command to set the hour 